In this problem, we have to find dy dx using implicit differentiation. Let's go ahead and work through this very carefully. Solution. So we'll start by taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So the derivative of 4x squared, well, what you do is the 4 hangs out, and you bring down the 2. So 2 times 4 is 8. Then you subtract 1 from the exponent here, so we end up with 8x to the 1, or just 8x. Here we do the same thing, so it'll be minus 4, because 2 times 2 is 4, y to the 1. And then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So we're taking the derivative with respect to x, so the inside function is y, so its derivative is dy dx. And the derivative on the right-hand side is 0. If this part here doesn't make sense, um, try to realize that we actually did it here as well, right? We ended up with 8x times the derivative of the inside with respect to x. So in that case, it would be dx dx. But we all know that dx dx is 1, right? Because the derivative of x is simply 1. So we don't bother to write it. So whenever we have the y, we do have to write it because we don't know what dy dx is. All right, let's go ahead and solve for dy dx. So we'll subtract 8x from both sides. So minus 8x minus 8x. Let's cancel. So we have negative 4y times dy dx. And that is equal to negative 8x. finish solving for dy dx, we'll divide both sides by negative 4y. So divide and divide. These cancel. So we're left with dy dx equals, let's see, negative 8 over negative 4 is going to give us a positive 2. So I'll write the 2 upstairs. So 2x all divided by y. And that would be the derivative of y with respect to x dy dx.